Welcome back to the channel. We have a bunch of stash ads to show you today, and this is gonna be hosted by my handsome little man here. The face that everyone loves to see, at least more than mine. And uh, we're gonna show you all the new stuff that we've added to the channel. Uh, we're gonna start with our automotive edition this, uh, this round. And what we just picked up is the 2021 Dodge Charger RT kit from AMT. This is an all new tooling. I've been looking forward to picking this one up because it is all new tooling and I'm curious to see what an all new kit from AMT will be like because we all know AMT's uh, reputation for some of their older kits. Even though I have enjoyed many of my AMT builds. But uh, a lot of them are old tooling that have been reissued. So now, this is going to be pretty interesting to get into. Different versions that you can build. These are all the decals that come with it in different colors. A lot of the details that are in this kit. I'm going to be really looking forward to getting into this, mostly to see the quality of these newer AMT kits. Maddox is not really interested in it because, well, let's just say he's not a Dodge puppy. He's more of a Pontiac pup. And uh, that's why he's uh, not really that interested in this. Right, little guy? And there he goes. Yep, there's the excitement level right there. Okay, let's move on to the next one. For automotive, that's going to be pretty much our entire bit there. So now we're going to move into my personal one of my personal favorite subject matter, anime. And for the anime kids, we have... This one, Maddox personally picked out himself. The Maddox 01 mech suit. This is pretty cool because it's a pretty tough looking, very detail heavy mech suit. This is from Modelroid. And you can see how interested he is in it because it's called the Maddox 01. So it's his own personal little mech suit. Now what I'm gonna do when I build this one is uh, probably put a little, few little touches on it to bring out the puppy in it. If that makes any sense. Let's take a look at it up close. You can see the box art really got me on this one. And uh, that's what got him about it. And let's take a look at this thing. I mean, tell me that is not one tough looking mech suit there. It's really really cool full of details all sorts of accessories this thing is gonna be amazing right little guy yeah okay yeah you're really interested you were one of, you heard one that had your name on it all right this is from Moderoid. we're gonna move on to our next one now okay I went into Hobby Lobby and I found on their 40% off sale. And when I went looking around, I had most of what they had already. Right, little guy? And uh, didn't see anything really new there. Their selection is kind of limited. But I did see this Zaku from Gundam, which I didn't have. And this is pretty cool, mostly because it was $19.99 with the 40% off sale. I got this thing for 11 bucks. But what's cool about it is that even though it's 1144 scale, it's got a full frame underneath the armor. So that's quite a bit of detail in this small size to build this particular model. And you can see it's fully articulated. I mean, it's uh, it's gonna be like building a small action figure. And Maddox is not really into this one. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next one. Okay, that's got his attention. We now have, from the old uh, anime series, Fist of the Sun Dugram, this is Round Facer, I think it's called, Hang Glider Equipment Type. This is a ground combat unit, but this has an additional hang glider attachment, which is pretty cool. You can see the box art there, it's pretty cool. And this is what got me about this kit. Look at that. You can you have to build the hang glider attachment that attaches to the back of the mech suit. 
It's got tons of detail. You can see in here, it's got an opening cockpit so you can see the pilot and all the interior gear. It's got some of the other characters. There you can see it with the wings on, the weapons load that it carries, that it has on it. This is very, very cool. And the interesting thing about this is that a lot of these Dugram kits were sold in the 80s under the Robotech name by Ravel, I think it was. So um, you will actually find some of these mech suits from Dugram under the Ravel banner. Now, I don't think it's the same kit here as those were... For the day, they were pretty good, but nothing compared to what they have now as far as these mech suits and their articulation. So I don't think this is the exact same kit that Ravel put out. This is by Max Factory. And a great little kit that I'm looking forward to putting together. Now, our next one. Is another Gundam kit. Right, little man? Gundam? Can you say that? Nah, you probably just don't want to. Another great Hobby Lobby find. You know, $34.99, 40% off. You can't beat that price. And this one got me with the box art. Look at the cannon on this guy. This ground combat type. I mean, that is cool. Look at the detail on that. That is going to be amazing to build. So I'm going to be looking forward to that one. How about you, little guy? Are you looking forward to that one? Nope. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next one. Okay, continuing our anime theme here, we have this very large SDF-1 Macross movie edition. This one is actually based on the Macross from the Do You Remember Love movie that was released after the Macross series. This is by Hasegawa, and it's just chock full of details, which is really cool. This is the transformed version of the Macross. As you can see here, look at the detailing on that. That is really, really cool. And it brings a few in-scale mechs that can be placed on board the ship, which is amazing. And here you can see some scenes from the anime movie. Again, not from the TV series, from the movie. So this is extremely cool. It's one of two of Ma of the Macross kits re released by Hasegawa. The other one has it in its uh, non-transformed version. So uh, I'm going to be looking for that one. But this was very cool. Picked this up at uh, Gundam World on the last trip that I went there. If you guys have not seen the video of Gundam, Plan uh, Gundam Planet, not Gundam World... You should check it out. I have it on here on the channel. It's got everything and anything you could ever want from anime model kits. All right, we're gonna keep going with this. Okay, now here what we have here is a Bandai Millennium Falcon. Again, another Hobby Lobby find. This is a very pricey kit, and Hobby Lobby is the way to go for it. Bandai has made some amazing Star Wars kits. Their ability to shrink down details, uh, I mean, and just exactly replicate the ships are amazing. I mean, you can see here, this is some great box art here. I mean, this is a small-scale Millennium Falcon. And it seems to have every single detail that you could want. You've even got the pilots in there. I mean, take a look at all of that. This is going to be an amazing, amazing build. Take a look at the box art there. And this is a, what scale is this? Does it have a scale on it? This is from Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, which don't get me started on that movie because I hate it. But this is a really great model of the Millennium Falcon. And it's at a size that just kind of makes sense if you have limited space. I also have the old NPC version of the Millennium Falcon, which that's coming up with a really interesting uh, unboxing 
comparing, comparing it to the new NPC version that I have on order. So this is very cool. And again, Hobby Lobby for the price. You can't beat it. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay guys, this is cool. I finally got it. The 1350 scale Klingon Katinga class battle cruiser. And uh, it's something I've wanted for quite a while. And uh, my hobby shop had one in stock. So I went ahead and picked it up along with its lighting kit. So this is gonna be a pretty cool build. This is down the line, it won't be anytime soon as this is a large kit and it's gonna be a lot to get this thing together. There's a new Klingon Battle Cruiser coming out also, which I am uh, already have on order. But uh, as you can see, it's two feet long. So it's a very, very large kit. Here's a shot of the decals that come with it. Take a look at some of the details. And the entire ship altogether. This is going to be an amazing, amazing build. And I do know that I am much more excited by it than Maddox is. Maddox, dude, go on. Show a little interest. So that's gonna do it for the stash ads for uh, this month. We're heading out to the Pontiac Fiero 40th anniversary celebration in Michigan. So uh, not gonna be much in the way of videos until we get there. So um, I guess uh, I'm gonna see you guys. Uh, once I get there, I'll be filming quite a few videos uh, for all my Fiero friends. So, when you get there, uh-oh, looks like Maddox is taking an interest in something, or maybe he's just hiding. He's had enough. <laughs> so, um, um, we'll be coming to you live, or at least kind of live, at least on video. You know, I don't know. But we'll be coming to you from Michigan, where we'll see all sorts of really cool Fiero stuff, including a scale model contest. That should be really interesting for my scale model guys. See, I'm combining both worlds. All right, guys. I'll see you out there.